Hey, what's going on guys? Brian Brewer here. This is episode six of the best advice I've ever received. Uh, if you're new to the channel here, welcome. Uh, this is my second YouTube channel, but since it's starting to see some growth, I wanted to do whatever I could to make sure I bring value to the subscribers. Now, I didn't want to make this channel just the same old stuff as the other channel. Not that it's not good, but I want to give a unique perspective. And that's when I came up with the idea of this series, the best advice I've ever received. And what this is, is this is my account of some of the best uh, internet marketing and entrepreneurship advice that I've heard over the last seven years being a digital marketer. And it's going to come from some of the top entrepreneurs and digital marketers in the space. So today's episode, episode six comes from Mike Dillard. Now I first got really familiar with Mike Dillard with the Self Made Man podcast. Now every time I bring up Mike Dillard's name, uh, there is probably an equal amount of haters and admirers. There are some people who um, are not too impressed by Mike Dillard's past, whether it's his ethics, his practices, I don't know. That's not the point. He has done very well for himself selling 50, 60 million dollars worth of info products online. And this is a good piece of advice. So I feel like it deserved to be shared. So <clears throat> Mike Dillard, really quickly, if you're not familiar, um, if you've ever watched a webinar, uh, where they start off and they say, who is this for? And then they basically include everybody and then they go, who is this not for? And then they go through a series of steps. All right, there's a 50% chance that the webinar model that you were watching came directly from Mike Dillard's List Grow program. And he was the first one who introduced me to the, the concept of the self-liquidating offer. So a low ticket item up front, uh, break even on your advertising and and then profit on the back end with high ticket offers. Now, to say he's the first person that ever introduced me to the concept, uh, the, he was the first person who ever directly related it to info products, webinars, and Facebook ads for me. Now that's fine advice. I don't think it's anything new these days, so that's not what I'm going to be covering uh, in this video, but it does relate to info product creators. Um, this is also coaches, you know, course creators, consultants, uh, YouTubers even, anything. This is so important to under understand, which is why I wanna share with you. So the best piece of advice I've ever received from Mike Dillard is if you're a coach, if you're a course creator, if you're an infopreneur, if you're a podcaster, if you're a YouTuber, you are not in the information business. That may be what you're selling, that may be your product, that may be how you are producing a profit for your business or generating revenue for your business. Uh, heck, this is even true for affiliate marketers, guys. You are not in the information business, okay? You are in the leadership business. And I think that's important because for me, it helps me understand and remember and always keep in the forefront that it's all, not all about algorithms and numbers and automation sears. I am in the leadership business. Someone watching this video is looking to me for leadership advice. And if you are in the leadership business, then I just implore you to take that seriously because we're dealing with real people, with real families, with real paychecks. I'm not saying you shouldn't charge what you worth. I offer private coaching and I charge a lot for it. If you wanna know more about it, go to brianbrewer.com. But I am 100% focus on making impact and changing lives because once again, I'm not selling information. I am in the leadership business and, and if you wanna be in the leadership business, if you wanna create info products, I, I will say that it, it is rewarding. Um, keep in mind, there will be a few haters out there, but it's interesting. I started to realize this not long ago, this will be my last thought. The only people who hate that I sell products and they hate that I sell coaching services are the people who don't buy them. And that is how you should run your business. If you're selling something, make it so everyone who purchases is happy. Not everyone's gonna get results, that's not up to you. Your job is not to make sure everybody succeeds, but your job is to make everyone feel good about the experience with your product. There's going to be a link to a playlist in the description below to the other uh, episodes in this series. Once again, this was episode six of the best advice I've ever received from Mike Dillard. 
Uh, go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you like this, and we'll see you soon. Bye now.